Hello. Good morning. Dasba. Uh, my name is Dr. Ayuba Seydou Abdullah, uh, the medical superintendent of Yendi Municipal Hospital. Doctor, we started a petition on uh, the Yendi Municipal Hospital alleging a neglect of a 12-year-old girl, Abna, on the 18th of March. The petitioner indicated the little girl was brought here 2 a.m. and was abandoned. Nobody attended to the child until she passed on around 9.30 the following day. Do you have such a petition? And what do you have to say about this? Thank you very much. Um, it's good we have you. And I'll say thank you to the viewers and listeners of this, uh, listeners to this radio station. TV. Um, uh, TV, uh, television station. It is true that there's a petition to that effect. Uh, the hospital received such petition on Friday uh, around 4 p.m. ish. Uh, on Friday, and the allegation, as you said, that there had been uh, a little girl called Abna uh, that has been brought in the hospital around 2 a.m. until 9:40 a.m. Nobody attended to the child, and the child died. Yeah, a petition of this nature needs serious investigation, for which the hospital management, led by me, has consisted a committee to go into the diversity of the allegations or the petition and come out with these findings and other recommendations. But I would like to, I will not go too much details into it, but the preliminary investigations following receipt of the petition point to the fact that yes, there was a name like that that had been brought to the hospital, but what I can say is that the child, as is being mentioned, was a 14-year-old girl and had been brought to the facility at 5.20 a.m., not the 2 o'clock a.m. that has been stated. The child's folder was retrieved at 1, 5.32 a.m. The child, upon arrival, was unconscious, was having convulsions, for which was received by the competent staff at the emergency department. The child was stabilized, the line was set, and anticonvulsants were given, and the child was placed on oxygen. So to say that the child has been brought at 2 a.m. and neglected to die is unfortunate. Unfortunately, this child died within two hours of arrival. But the preliminary information is that the child has been ill for about three, four days, for which various medications were being administered at home until the child went unconscious, collapsed, and was rushed into the hospital. The child arrived unconscious in a bad state. I think I can leave it here for viewers to understand the veracity or the nature of the case that has been brought. Um, what I can say categorically is that this child was not brought to the hospital at 2 a.m., but rather 5.20 a.m. The child died within two hours of arrival. Um, it's just unfortunate that it has been put this way. But we will look into it as the committee has been set, and then at the appropriate time, we will respond strongly to this, and uh, the community will remain known to that. And Doctor, the petitioner also alleges that he brought a patient that was a female who was equally abandoned until they had to secretly liaise with somebody at the OPD to take charge of, to uh, respond to the girl, the lady, as I am saying. And also indicates that these neglects has been happening in the Yendi Municipal Hospital for a long time now. How do you respond to this? It's unfortunate. Uh, I have the different version to that, but like I said, petition, a uh, committee has been set to look into it and come out with all the funding that uh, surrounds the petition and then we will respond accordingly. Uh, but I must put it on record that the people, the staff of END Hospital, are committed staff, dedicated staff, who dress up from in the morning, come to the hospital with the sole aim of 
preventing death and preventing complication and mobilities. And they are working their soul and heart out to make sure that people are cared for. Nobody dressed from home to come and pray that somebody dies. There are a lot of lives that are being saved by the good people or the good staff of the ND Municipal Hospital. So, Doctor, how soon is the committee's report coming out? Well, we have given. I think that they will receive the petition on Friday. Uh, the committee has been set. The members have been notified, and we have given them up to 31st of this month to come out with the report. It is possible that they will finish one day, two days, but we just wanted to give them enough time to go into and do all the necessary interviews that they will do to come out the report. On the basis of this petition and other. Uh, People conception, I wouldn't say misconception, thinking about the hospital that people are neglected. What would you say and what assurance would you give to the general public with regards to how the Yendi Municipal Hospital staff would attend to them in case they come here? It's unfortunate that we are saying that but there are let off. If you read the petition very well, I don't want to comment about that. But if you come to a hospital and somebody receives you and gives you a bed, does it mount to neglect? A staff receive you, check your vital, check your BP and everything, doesn't want to neglect. It's, it's a question that I will leave it on. But it's unfortunate. Everybody knows how hospital works. We in the hospital, we are not saying that we are perfect. No institution is perfect in this world. But problems are there to be solved. And if you identify a problem, it's important you bring it out for it to solve. But trying to destroy the, pop, the, 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 the gift that we have as a hospital, trying to destroy the image of the hospital, to run the hospital down, it, it will rather perish the people rather than your personal benefit or the individual benefit. I think that the efforts must be collective. We all need to work together to improve. As we are working together to improve the services and the infrastructure of the hospital to serve the people better. The ND hospital are not sleeping. We are delivering. In the midst of COVID last year, Yendi Hospital did a lot of interventions to save, prevent death and to save life. It's on record. Yendi Hospital, be it a district hospital, be it a village hospital as perceived by others, thinking that Yendi Hospital is a small hospital. Last year, had deliveries of 3,975 deliveries. A hospital with the limited number of staff are doing this thing. So it cannot be that the people are just there. We had OPD attendance over 30,000. We have admissions over 10,000 last year. We cannot say that we are in to just let people die day in, day out. We can say that the hospital is without challenges. We, as you sit now, we don't even have running water. Water challenge is there. We do have uh, frequent light cutouts that it's costing a lot to power the generation, the generator and water and all that stuff. There are financial challenges of everybody and that stuff. But we work to improve it. We are working in the midst of challenges to improve it. We are not giving up. We are not losers, but rather we winners. We try to please our creator who gave us a wisdom to serve the humanity and we continue to serve humanity in a way that pleases Allah. We could have been sleeping in the house. I think when you came in, we were not sleeping or listening to music or dancing and then mm -hmm. uh, 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 chatting, but rather attending to issues that are important. We save lives. We don't come into we don't come to give their certificate to people. It's unfortunate. When somebody dies, nobody knows the emotions that goes through the staff. The psychological trauma that goes through we go through. It's not easy to try to revive the life of people. It's not uh, it's not easy in putting all your efforts and now you are run down as if you mean nothing to the people. It's not fair. It hurts. It demotivates. Please, let's come together to make sure that we are all catered for. We run down the only facility we have in Eastern Corridor. The whole weekend we are having referrals from top left and right and down. Referrals from all over the place. Be it bleeding cases, be it anemia cases, be it needing surgical cases, be it accident cases, we are there to serve. We are not leaving people to die. Please, please, don't demoralize the few people who are working with these limited uh, human resources. Please, if you have issues, the doors are open for you to bring it forward 
let's fish out the troublemakers, the people who are trying to run the hospital now. But rather, do not deliberately, because of one reason or other, try to go and insult everybody. It's unfair. Please. Thank you. Thank you very much.